it's time to start working with your workbooks. So please, let's go to the page number 22 of your workbooks. Are you there? Okay. So here in this page, we continue with some any and a lot of. What's in Debbie's kitchen? Kitchen, recuerden que es cocina. La pronunciación es kitchen, no chicken. Okay, kitchen. So this is the picture of Debbie's kitchen in her new apartment. So you're going to complete the sentences about her new apartment with some, any, and a lot of. Remember, for affirmative sentences, we use some. Negative or interrogative sentences, we use any. A lot of an affirmative, negative, or interrogative. But don't forget that this is not the same. No es lo mismo. Some con a lot of. Some es algunos. A lot of son bastantes. Okay? Igual que any. For example, I say, I don't have any pens. No tengo ningún lapicero. I don't have a lot of pens. No tengo bastantes lapiceros. En la primera estoy implicando de que no tengo ninguno. O sea, el número de lapiceros que tengo son cero. En cambio, si es que utilizo a lot of, si digo, I don't have a lot of pens, estoy indicando que sí tengo lapiceros, pero no tengo bastantes, pero sí tengo con qué escribir. Entonces, no es lo mismo el some, any y a lot of. Okay, so complete these sentences using some, any, or a lot of. Ready? Make a pause, don't forget. Hagan una pausa para que puedan completar. Well, this, that, this, those. Here, this is a photo of my kids. Porque tiene la foto en la mano. So complete with this. That or those, recuerden si la persona puede agarrar el objeto, es, está cerca. Si es que tienes que caminar un poco para alcanzar el objeto, ya es lejos. So don't forget to complete your sentences. And when you finish, take a picture of this page and send a picture to the WhatsApp group. Okay, guys? So that's everything for today. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.